Hey everybody, what's going on? Thank y'all for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been around for a while, thank you for checking out another one. And if you haven't already, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. It helps my channel grow and it just helps YouTube realize or recognize that people are interested in the channel and it'll recommend it to new people. So if y'all could do me a favor, leave a like, subscribe, maybe even comment. I'd really appreciate that. But to get into today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that goes right in hand with having a boat or, um, you know, just a, a vehicle, lawnmower, chainsaw, whatever. But this is mostly going to be focusing on an uh, outboard motor for a bass boat. So y'all stay tuned and I'm going to show you what it is here in a second. Okay, so here it is right here. Here's the here's the big surprise. Uh, this is the Startron Starbright Enzyme Fuel Treatment. This is this stuff right here is awesome. Like I said, this you can put this in anything. You can put it. Uh, I think I think you can put this in everything that is gasoline. But they do make a diesel version. I'm, we haven't ever tried that. We do have some diesel trucks and some tractors, but we hadn't ever tried it. But I know for a fact. I mean, it says it. It says it on the bottle right here. It says works in all gas engines. And this right here. This bottle is eight ounces. It treats 120 gallons. They do have one that's like a, a lot bigger, like twice the size. So, but the thing, the thing that I was going to talk about, the Startron, I've got two different stories about it. So, number one, Papa used to have this old, I think it was an old Ford, Ford 300 or 3000 tractor, and it was gas powered. I'm pretty sure that's what it was but either way i know he did have an old gas engine tractor like a farm tractor and long story short the tractor ended up sitting for a little while over a year year and a half and you know it got rained on weather all that stuff and he ended up having a whole lot of water in the gas tank so he went and got a bottle of that startron i don't know how much he dumped in it probably half a bottle cranked it up let it run and he let it run for a little while and it burned all that crap off and he said that he put new gas in it put some more starch on in it and the tractor ran fine for until he got rid of it so that's that's my first testimony about the stuff i mean and a farm tractor that's been been, been sitting in a, in the weather for a year and a half he put some of that in there and it it ate all that gunk out got the water out his main thing i'm sure there was some ethanol that had got you know built up and got all, all gunked up in there but the main thing was the water and it was too much of a pain to try to get it where he could drain it out so he just dumped that starter in there and tried that first and it ended up working and the second story i have about the stuff a couple of years ago we have a jet ski and we were down at Wedowie and we have we leave it parked down there at the lake house and like i said we hadn't been down there in a little while it's probably hadn't rode the jet ski in about a year and a half two years same thing as that tractor and my dad dumped a whole bottle of that stuff in there we we dumped it in the water he was out there on it and he got it he finally got it to crank up and it it looked like <laughs> it looked like a old diesel truck out there it was black smoke was going everywhere i mean it was like a freight train it was just smoking for like 10 15 minutes and it was burning all that crap off, all that ethanol that had built up. I'm sure it might have had some moisture in there. But it seriously ran for about 15 minutes, burned all that crap off, and then it ran as good as new. And we, we've used it since we did that, maybe three years ago. And we've used it every summer, you know. So that's my two stories about the stuff and that I, I have seen it firsthand that it works. And obviously, the main thing right now that we're facing, if you go to buy non-ethanol gas, it's like four and a half, five dollars, at least four dollars, depending on where you're at. I mean, and that's ridiculous. I mean, regular 87 gas is already nearly three dollars around here. So nobody wants to pay for four and a half dollar gas to fill up a, I mean, if you got a brand new bass boat, you're looking at a 55, 60, 65 gallon tank. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. So this stuff right here, I don't know how much it is. I think it might be eight, nine dollars. 
and you can see this this has got marine hd on it i'm not sure i mean obviously there is a difference but i've always i just get whatever the, the store has i'll either get the marine or just the regular star bright startron i haven't noticed the difference in it but the way the way that i use it whenever i fill up the boat the skeeter that Papa gave me it's got two separate gas tanks so i have two i have uh two gas lids so like say i'm gonna put say i'm gonna put 30 gallons in it well i'll put 15 on one side 15 on the other and what i'll do i'll fill it up and then i'll just dump a cap full on both sides and call it good uh, i mean i haven't knock on wood i haven't had any issues with the boat sitting i haven't had any issues with running 87 grade gas in it i mean i i always put star trot in it if i know i'm somewhere where like say i run out of star tron then i will put non-ethanol in it but i trust i mean that just because i trust it doesn't mean that it's the best thing ever i personally think it's the best thing ever i've seen it like i said it brought a tractor and jet ski back to life I've been running in the boat for as long as he's let me use it. So close to three years I've been putting this stuff in. And there's no telling how many bottles I've bought. Probably close to 10. I mean, it's some awesome stuff. Like I said, it burned all that crap off that tractor and that jet ski. But that's that's all you got to look at or look for in the store. Just this little blue bottle. It's kind of hard to miss. That Startron enzyme fuel treatment. This says stabilizes up to two years. I mean, you can see eliminate carbon deposits prevent moisture cleans the injectors and the valves i mean for ten dollars it's a good investment i mean everybody knows boat really stands for break out another thousand so you don't want to be breaking out a whole bunch of money so if you can this is just a small investment you can make and even if you run non-ethanol which is i mean obviously there's no problem with that you can run non-ethanol but i would still put some of that in there because you never know i mean you could ha get a get somewhere that's got some water in the the main fuel tank at the gas station you just never know what could happen so even if you're running marine grade gas i would probably still invest in that startron put your little bit in there every once in a while like i said i mean i've seen it work it's some good stuff and i know this is a little bit different video than i normally do i mean you can see i don't know if you can see this right here but we got a bunch of rain on the truck and it's early this morning i hadn't been i hadn't been fishing since i think july 4th weekend me and some buddies are going this weekend we're going to trout fish up in north georgia so that'll be a little bit different i'm looking forward to that i've been a couple times but i've never never filmed it so i'm gonna to try to bring the gopro and film that this weekend but i appreciate y'all sticking around i know i i like to go fish i like to make those videos too i just haven't i haven't been able to i've been doing i've been to the beach went to north georgia to go to helen and right on the inner tube so we've just been been doing vacation summertime stuff which is fine but i'm looking forward to getting back on the water like i said i'm gonna go to north georgia and trout fish this weekend so hopefully i have a video about that sometime next week but like i said thank y'all for sticking around thank y'all for checking out this video and if you haven't already make sure you leave a like and subscribe and next time you're at AutoZone or walmart or wherever definitely think about getting some of this right here i think it'll if you're having some issues with the boat or don't even have any issues and you just want to prevent them i think that's some awesome stuff right there and once again thank y'all for following along and checking out the channel i really appreciate it